Hello guys, welcome to Amazing Engineering and today in this open phone tutorial we will see how to set an e-transfer case considering a radiative contribution. Normally we have, we have to consider a radiative contribution in real application when the, body, when the bodies reach a very high temperature, for example inside an incinerator or a combustion chamber. For our case we will create an incinerator. So let's create our work directory and let's open SOLIDWORKS to create the geometry. Select the front plane and open a sketch. Now we, we have to create a series of segments. The first one is 12,500 millimeters length. Then 5000 mm length ten thousand mm length and one thousand four hundred mm length. Close the sketch and select Revolved Boss. We select this segment as Revolution Axis and this is our geometry. Now let's go to Save As. Let's call it Incinerator. and select step file as file format. Now let's close SOLIDWORKS and let's open SALOM. Let's go to geometry field. In file properties we set meters as length units and now we have to import our geometry file. So let's go to import file and select the file we made. Now we have to create the odd source inside the, inside the body. For this purpose let's create a box, set 5 meters along x direction, 2 meters along y direction and 4 meters along z direction. In order to translate the box inside the geometry, as first let's increase the transparency of the incinerator, for example to 50%, in order to have a better view. Select the box, click on center of mass in order to get the position of the center of mass of the box, and then click on translation. As first, we translate the center of mass of the box to the origin of coordinate system and for this purpose we have only to multiply these three numbers for minus 1. So let's write minus 2.5, minus 1, minus 2. Now we have to change the position along y direction in order in order to have the box as close as possible to the bottom surface. And minus 4.7 seems to be enough. Apply and close. Now let's go to Operations, Boolean and select Cut. We can call this cut Incinerator. Select the geometry as first body and the translated box as a second body. Apply and close. 
Now this is our domain F and if we increase the transparency, we can see the box inside the geometry. Now let's create the geometrical graphs for boundary condition. Select face graph and the first one is called top center and we select the top surface of the body bottom center and we select the bottom surface walls and we select the other faces and at the end the odd source. So let's hide some faces and select the box. So these are our graphs. Now let's go to Mesh Field, select the domain and click on Create Mesh. We can call it Incinerator. We select NetGen 3D and as hypothesis NetGen 3D parameters. We set 0 as minimum size and 0.5 as maximum size. In 2D, we set NetGen 1D 2D and as hypothesis NetGen 2D parameters. Again, we set 0 as minimum size and 0.5 and as maximum size. Apply and close. Now we can compute our mesh. As you can see, our mesh is composed by around 27,000 volumes. Now click on Create Graphs from Geometry and select the four graphs. Apply and close. Now we can export, export our mesh as a UMV file. Let's call it Incinerator and we save it inside our work directory. Let's close Salom. Let's open the directory and now we have to reach this, direc this directory with bash on Ubuntu. So, let's use the command change directory mnt c users, admin, desktop, incinerator. Let's write the command ideas uav to foam and select the mesh file. Let's go to constant directory, polymesh, and in boundary file we set the type of boundary condition for all the graph. For all them we set a wall type boundary condition. In a G file we set the value of gravity acceleration, so it is minus 9.81 along y direction. In Turbulence Properties, we set a Laminar Flow. In Thermophysical Properties, we can find the same parameters of the previous heat transfer simulation. So, our parameters are based on the flow density. Our mixture is not the result of a combustion process. We are considering a constant prime number and dynamic viscosity of the fluid. Our thermophysical, prob uh, thermophysical model is based on a constant specific heat. 
we use perfect gas equation as equation of state and we are not considering an internal heat formation. Then in mixture we have to set the physical parameters or the fluid. In this case we are considering air. Now let's go to boundary radiation properties and in this file we have to set the type of boundary radiation. If we set lookup, we have to set the value of emissivity and absorptivity coefficient inside this file. These two coefficients are used to calculate the energy emitted and absorbed by the body. As you know, when a body surface is affected by a radiation, Part of this radiation is reflected by the body and we consider the coefficient rho. Another part is absorbed by the body and we consider the coefficient alpha. And last part is transmitted through the body and we consider the coefficient tau. The sum of these three coefficients is always equal to 1. If we consider a black body, the values of emissivity and absorptivity coefficient are both equal to 1. So the black body, every time emitted the maximum, the maximum energy and absorbed the whole radiation. Of course, in a real application, we cannot find a real black body, so the values of emissivity and absorptivity coefficient are always less than 1. If we set solid radiation, we have to go to radiation properties and we have to set the values of absorptivity coefficient for length unit, emissivity coefficient for length unit and the value of energy emitted by the body. Now let's go to zero directory. In velocity file, we set no sleep boundary condition for all the graphs. In temperature coefficient, in temperature file, the temperature for bottom center, top center, air walls and walls is equal to 300 Kelvin, while for hot source is uh, 1250 Kelvin. In dynamic pressure file, we set for all graphs fixed flux pressure for as a boundary condition. In pressure file, we set calculated boundary condition for all the graphs. As value, we are using the value of the value of uh, internal field, so, no, so 100,000. 100, and the file is referred to the radiation that affected the surface. We can set Marshak radiation in order to use the Marshak equation about radiation, about radiation properties, or great diffusive radiation if we are considering surfaces as gray diffusive gray diff, uh, diffused bodies now let's go to system directory in control dict we have to set parameters of the simulation as solver we use buoyant buoyant pimple foam that like piece of foam piece of foam allow us to see how the solution evolves during the simulation we set 0 as start time, n as end time, as delta t we set a very low, a very low value, so for example 0 0.0025, and we set 0 as put right in order to have a series of put right directory during simulation. Now let's open bash on Ubuntu. And let's write buoyant pimple foam. 
So, as you can see, we have uh, a series of pull dry directories. Now let's open Paraview using the command parafoam. Click on apply. Select, for example, temperature as a physical property. Let's change the color mapping, for example, blue to red rainbow. Click on clip. Select the normal and set minus one. Apply. And start the simulation. So, this is how the temperature varies during the simulation. Okay guys, this is all for today. I invite you to subscribe on my channel and see you for the next video.